Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scum. It is I, your host, the best gamer ever to have existed on this here channel. And today, Scum has been updated. We have a new patch, and with this new patch we have some new content that we are going to explore today. We're gonna get right into it because I'm excited to see, man. So see the new tanks. The first thing that has been added into the game is two new types of puppets. We have the first one, we have the explosive puppet. So let's bring one out here. So there it is, that's the, okay. Oh, it's already seen me. Now this thing, no matter how this thing dies, once it does die, it will, it will explode. And once it gets close to you, I don't know if you can hear that beeping. Well, in 60 seconds, it will explode and it's, um, it's explosive is strapped to his chest. You can see right there. I don't know if he should be explosive, it, if it will explode or not, but I guess we're going to be fine. We're going to find out. Oh. Oh. Oh God. So these things are going to be, are going to be spawning at military points of interest. If you try and run them over. Oh my God. This is going to kill me, isn't it? If you try to ride them over, they will explode. The explosive radius is about 10 meters, 5 meters and close. It's uh, in closer than 5 meters. You're done for. You just you're just going to you're just going to die. You get you get Oh god, there you go. It's gone. Dead. Oh, oh my god, that is that is quick way. He just went splash. There's no loot from it though, right? <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing you can loot. Okay. Okay, let's see if the vest explodes. <gasps> okay, it does. Okay, shooting the vest does make the zombie explode. Good to know. This is why I'm here, to test stuff. <laughs> Alright, good to know. If you shoot the explosives, the zombie would most definitely explode. We have another type of puppets now. We have the hospital puppets. So let's see if we can bring one out here. We got the hospital ones and is this bad boy right here. What's up, man? I'm curious to see if they give some band-aids or something. Let's see what they have on them. My lady, how you doing? Good? Great. Will they... Nope. Okay, so it's just a different type of zombie that will spawn at military... Not military, what am I talking about? At... What the... Hi, yo! This guy is the Terminator at hospitals. Also, if you have noticed, in the left side of the screen, we have visibility and noise. It, it's the UI has been changed a little bit. Uh, we have some different icons for life, stamina, hunger, and thirst. And also, we have visibility and noise. I mean, you know how this works. This reminds me of Stalker a lot. That's where I first saw this this thing implemented. The more noise you make, the the bar is gonna fill up. I mean, it's it's straightforward. And if you're gonna hide in the bush, the other thing is gonna go down. Let's go prone. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go in the bush. Is there a bush here? There you go. The visibility is gonna go down. Yeah. So that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty cool that we have that in there. It does remind me of Stalker a lot. But we're not. We're not here to talk about Stalker, one of my favorite games. We're here to talk about Shka. Another thing that has been added. There hasn't really been added. There's some changes have been done to it, regarding the placement system for the. The construction thingy majigs. If you go and you craft something, you can just place. Let's just place a thingy majig. Can I just place a thing thingy majig? Right, it's like this. You can have up to ten blueprints down now, so you can you can place multiple things down. And it should also be more permissive. There's gonna be some height adjustments as well as possible after the blueprint is placed. I don't really know how you do that, but I mean maybe tab. I don't, I don't know, but apparently it should be, how the hell do you adjust the, what? I don't know what that means. And the new look for them, they're blue. I think they were green before, now they're blue. There's also been added some new event locations for Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch for, uh, I mean, the locations is gonna, it's gonna be, I'm, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce them, but it's Prnkno, Veliki Tabor, Mirkovic, and Tisno. I I know that's not correct, but you know, sue me. I don't speak Croatian. <laughs> or yeah, here we go. What else? Now 
check this out the tractor they've added the tractor with the storage space so it's gonna have like a little bit of a cage behind it and it's gonna be a big storage i think so let's see if we can get one out here so this is the tractor and now the tractor behind it is got a little bit of a basket and you can enter the basket hell yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice now this this is what i call an update this is great i wish you could pick up the zombies as well and just put them in there i don't know why just carry them around burn them somewhere no you cannot but let's see how big of an inventory this has enter let's see the storage on this oh the storage is damn big man it's huge was it like this before i doubt it i hope not can you put stuff in here Let's see if we can drag a chest in this. Ah, uh, what? Disappointed. Why can I not put this in here, man? This is clearly what it's used for to carry shit. Come on, dude. Well, that's a no ski on that. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Does not work. Well, I mean, you can still. I mean. I'm being a little prick right now, but you can do this and you can just add your chest inside the storage. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> it's not a big deal that you cannot actually put it in there. You can just store it inside your tractor, the food, the food chest. There's also been some quality of life changes. There's some stuff to make our gaming experience more pleasant. You know, like M1 clip. Do we have an M1? Yeah, we have an M1. The clip when you empty it is gonna be empty. Let's actually empty it and let's see. One more, take that down. And now, yeah, there you go. This is an empty clip. This is a full clip right here. Empty and full. Stuff like that, new animations and whatnot. New commands for admins, stuff that doesn't really concern me because I'm not an admin. I'm just, I'm just a pleb player. <laughs> And some bug fixes and some optimization. The game should run a little bit better. But all in all, it's a pretty cool update. We got new types of zombies that are gonna they're gonna make our lives a little bit harder in bunkers and military areas. You know, because it wasn't enough to have big fat zombies with armor on them that take a million bullets to take them down. Now we're gonna have explosive zombies. You shoot the explosive, the explosive blows up. You kill the zombie, the explosive blows up. So you gotta keep them at range. So you know, be careful out there. This thing is really cool, and the the puppets that are in the um, in the hospitals, it's it's pretty, it's a decent update. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, that's about it for this update. I hope everybody enjoyed. What just happened? It's a zombie fall. Oh, is this thing? Get out of here, you creeper! I don't even know why you're here. What you trying to pull, huh? Out of here. So yeah, that's about it for the update. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. If this video was somewhat entertaining or useful or something, if it was anything, you know, make sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one with some more video games. Thank you for hanging out and later.